In the previous video, we were looking at cations and the effect of turning atoms into cations, meaning removing one electron. The charge at the nucleus stayed the same. You had less electrons in, around the nucleus, and so therefore a larger positive charge relative to the fewer negative charges around caused the atoms to become smaller. So cations tend to be smaller than the atoms that they came from. But anions is different. Anions are negatively charged ions. They become anions by adding more electrons. Starting with fluorine, for example, we turn fluorine atoms into fluorine ions by adding one extra electron. Now, the nuclear charge is the same. The screening effect of the innermost two electrons is the same. We just have one additional electron in the orbits around the nucleus. And so therefore, there's additional repulsive forces between the electrons. They need more elbow room, so to speak. They push each other out. And so the initial radius of 71 picometers for the atom becomes 133 picometers for the ion. You can see a tremendous increase in the size. If we now go to oxygen and looking at the double ionized uh, oxygen anion, Two, which is uh, two negative, you can see that from a original uh, size that was slightly larger than, of course, the size of the fluorine because it was a little bit to the left on the periodic table, slightly larger atom, but when it became an ion with two additional electrons, the size increase was even greater and it went from 73 to 140 picometers. Now taking a look at nitrogen, and oh, that's the wrong symbol here, this should be three negative right there. Notice the uh, nitrogen become, can become a triply ionized anion, N3 minus, but notice the size increase. The charge in the nucleus is only seven positive charges as opposed to eight and nine over here, so therefore there's less attractive forces, but there's still eight electrons now in the second energy level with only two electrons screening out the nucleus, and so therefore that additional repulsive force with less attractive force by only having seven positive charges in the nucleus causes the ion to swell to a size of 171 picometers. So you can see that the ultimate size of the ions very much is a function of how much charge is in the nucleus, how many additional charges are in the outer layer of the, uh, of the atom, basically the outer energy level, and how much screening there is. And of course, since there's no additional screening here between those three atoms, you see the screening effect is the same, the number of positive charge in the nucleus decreases, the number of negative charges in the second energy level is the same, therefore with less positive charge to pull in the electrons, and with all the repulsive forces between the eight electrons, it swells it up to a very large size. So anions can become very large ions due to the fact that there's less positive charge in the center and more electrons being repelled by one another, pushing the size of the ion out.